ghosts. When the chill autumn wind howls and leaves rustle past you on a moonlit night, just the mention of the word can send shivers up and down your spine. Shadows can take on a life of their own and all sorts of things can appear from out of the darkness. Of the many special effects used in haunted houses, one of the most amazing illusions is also one of the oldest. Known as Pepper's Ghost, this optical effect was invented by Professor John Pepper and English engineer Henry Dirks in the 1860s. Originally used to startle theater audiences during live stage performances, this illusion has become widely utilized at theme parks and Halloween attractions all over the world. With a little preparation and creepy creativity, you too can startle your friends and neighbors with a ghostly visitor. There are three settings to this illusion. The target chamber, where the effect is seen by the audience. The source chamber, where the specter is hiding. And the optical chamber, where the effect is combined together. You'll need a large piece of glass or other see-through clear material for the optical chamber. An apparition along with lights and a non-reflective black backdrop for the source chamber. And additional mood setting props and lighting for the target chamber where the effect is viewed. Create a spooky background in the target chamber using props and decorations that will be seen through your transparent spectral guest. Next, set up your source chamber by placing your ghostly visitor off to one side and between where your audience is standing and where the background is set. This source chamber should be hidden from the audience view at all times using fabric or other wall-like materials. For the optical chamber where the illusion is created, place the large sheet of glass or other clear material at a 45 degree angle. This will reflect the image of the ghost in the source chamber when the light is turned on and will also allow the viewer to see the spooky props of the background in the target chamber. Hiding the edges of the glass frame can be done with decorations if in full view or can be tucked out of the way by using a door frame or other architectural element. Finally, place a strong light in the source chamber that will shine directly on your ghost, but not be seen by the audience. Then, place a light in the target chamber that will cast a shadowy glow on the props and decorations. When the light in the source chamber is turned on, the ghost will appear to float between the audience and the spooky background. With a little practice and attention to detail, you can turn any setting into a haunted hideaway.